morning, Kingsley. Today is Monday, January 30th. With snow on the ground and a crispness in the air, we will close out January of this broadcast. Let's get you caught up on all the happenings at Kingsley. First, here's Emma with your weather. Hi, I'm Emma, and here's your Kingsley weather. Last week, we were hit with a little bit of snow, but sadly, it was enough to cancel school. This week, we may see a little snow on Tuesday, but only an inch or so. The biggest thing we will deal with is the cold. Temperatures will be below 20 all week, and on Thursday, we may see single digit temps. Stay warm, Kingsley. Over to you, Zoe. Hello, this is Zoe, and here's this week's lunch menu. Uh, today, there's a walking taco with cheese. Um, Tuesday, half day, there's a sack lunch with ham and cheese. Uh, Wednesday, pasta bar with garlic and cheese bread stick. Uh, Thursday, chicken patty sandwich. Friday, mini salmon rolls with cheese omelet. Have a great week, Kingsley. Over to you, Kara. Hi, this is Kara, and here are Kingsley birthdays this week. Today, wish Nevaeh and a happy birthday. Later this week, be sure to send birthday wishes to Austin H, Deccan A, Trishelle G, Henry T, Tegan A, and Jamie P. Our, our teacher birthdays are Miss Vandaloo and Mrs. Peterson on Wednesday, and on Saturday, Miss Pilon will celebrate her birthday. Happy birthday, Kingsley! Over to you, Colin. Welcome to the Kingsley Sports Update. My name is Colin. Let's get you caught up on what's happening in the Newman Gym. Last Tuesday, both the 7th and 8th grade volleyball teams beat Chidix in two very close matches. They're really making a mark for themselves this season. Tonight, the girls travel to Champaign-Edison to take on the Comets. On Wednesday, both teams will face Olympia and Newman Gym. First serve is shortly after 5.30. If you can't make the game in person or want to watch it later on, be sure to check it out on the Kingsley Activities YouTube page. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Over to you, Chris and Ace. Hi, my name is Christina Spencer. And I'm Ace Wilburn. And these are the fun facts of the day. Glow-in-the-dark sharks are a thing. This small shark, which dwells 1,700 feet below the ocean surface, emits a fluorescent glow. Granted, it's typically only visible to other swell sharks, but scientists have figured out, figured out a way to detect the glow using filters. The Eiffel Tower can be 15 centimeters taller during the summer. Due to thermal expansion, meaning the iron heats up, the particles can gain kinetic energy and take up more space. Though less common than earthquakes, the moon actually has moonquakes too. You probably know that snails are pretty slow creatures, but did you know that they also take the longest naps? One nap can last up to three years. If you're a cat lover, then you may be surprised by this interesting fact. Cats can't taste anything that's sweet. That's probably why they can't get enough of their favorite salty snack. Bees can sting other bees, usually if they feel threatened or protecting their territory. In other words, you are not the only one who is scared of being stung. Over to you, Kelsey. Hi, I'm Kelsey, and this is Book Corner. Today, the books I'm talking about are the part of the Babysitter's Club series, where a young girl named Christy starts a business with a group of friends to babysit kids. Some friend and enemy drama gets in the way of business, though. This is a series with about 13 books, and you should check them out. Hello, and welcome to this edition of Riley's Corner. Today I'm going to be talking to you about SAD. SAD is an acronym for Seasonal Affectiveness Disorder. SAD can make you feel down and easily upset. SAD usually takes place during the fall and winter seasons when people don't get as much sunlight as they need. Many kids ages 9 to 19, such as myself, are affected by SAD. Some symptoms of SAD include craving carbohydrates, aka starchy foods, they're gaining weight, their anxiety is increasing, they have fatigue, and they oversleep. SAD can, occur in the, can also occur in the spring and summer, although it's less common. One cause of SAD may be the lack of vitamin D. This is the vitamin you get from, ex, from exposure to sunlight. Light therapy or vitamin supplements may help ease the effects of SAD. But if you feel that your symptoms of SAD may be more severe, you should consider talking to an adult to get more appropriate care. Now for some announcements. You may have noticed some teachers in the building decorating their doors. In January, teachers choose their favorite board games to cure the boredom of winter.
The Coddle Program Pizza Voting Party deadline is quickly approaching. How do you qualify? By reading 10 Coddles and either filling out the Google form located in the IMC Google Classroom for each book or by commenting with your lit teacher. Or Mrs. Knowles by February 19th. It's not too late. The voting party will be on Wednesday, February 22nd. Email Ms. Knowles with any, with any further questions. The next Pride Club meeting will be on Monday, February 6th, after school in the IMC till 445. All students are welcome. And now, a quick message, message from our FCCLA. Hey KJ, FCCLA here. Last week we worked on decorating Miss Riley's doors for the board game contest. Our theme is the game of life. Also, we're welcoming Sarah A from 6-2 as our new vice president. We are so happy you're with us, Sarah. Bye KJ. Student Council is also pleased to announce their, welcome, their new welcome committee. These STUCO members are happy to welcome new students in our school. Sit with students at lunch and answer any, and they will answer any questions that you may have. Our six room welcome committee members are Myron M, Logan H, and Caden K. Our seventh grade welcome, welcome committee members are Ginny F, CCB, and Leo VS. Our eighth grade welcome committee members are Axel K, Abby D, Kalisha G, and Moises G. Thank you, welcoming committee. It's programs like these that make Kingsley a welcoming place. Speaking of new faces, we have some new teacher faces you may have noticed around the building. In the following weeks, we will feature a few of them. This week, let's meet Miss Mans. Miss Mans graduated from Illinois State University in December, and she is very excited to begin her new teaching career at Kingsley Junior High. She says she chose Kingsley after doing some work in the building. She instantly fell in love with the school and, and its environment. In her personal life, she has two cats and a dog. I want to see those. I bet they're really cute. She also enjoys reading, nature walks, and traveling. Welcome to Kingsley Miss Mans. This has been all of Riley's Corner. Stay safe, Kingsley.